hey guys it's your girl doreen house team and once more welcome to my youtube channel where you get to learn more about life skills motivation and relationships if this is the first time you're tuning to my channel thank you so much for finding time to be with me please take your time to subscribe because this is the place to be in this channel it's all about positivity positive vibes and i'm telling you you're going to love it for the returning subscribers hey you guys i'm grateful i'm thankful i appreciate you so much because it's you people that give me the energy to keep on doing this so let's keep doing this keep supporting me keep sharing my content and hey, you people, I appreciate you so, so much. In today's video, six things that no one will tell you about life. You know, life is something amazing. It's something beautiful. And uh, actually, life is a journey. And we go through it. And um, life gives us life lessons or experiences that sometimes we learn from. And these uh, experiences actually act like a base of what we are going to do in the future. You know, some of these experiences that we go through each and every day uh, may affect uh, your life either positively or negatively. So either way, the experiences are there to make you a better uh, person. And uh, also each and every day we meet and interact with people. And these people also influence our life either positively or negatively. So either way, there must be an influence because we say there is no school without influence because in each and every school, learning is taking place. You know, people you meet will either influence your life positively and make it something beautiful and there are those other people who will come in your life and everything goes south and you even regret the day you met these people. So either way, life must continue and life must move on because that is life. So today I want to talk about those six things that no one will tell you about. Number one, people you call your friends may turn out to be your worst enemies. You know, those people that uh, you believe in so much, people that you love and people that you think you can do anything for them. You know, for you, maybe deep inside, you have a genuine love for these people. But uh, to some of these people, they are not who you think they are. Deep inside, they are dying of jealousy, they are dying of envy, and you know envy and jealousy are two things that are very dangerous. So, uh, these people are always maybe waiting for your downfall, and uh, you can only know about them maybe when you go through difficulties or challenges in your life and uh, at that point maybe you need these people that is the moment now you realize that the people you call your friends will not be there for you uh, actually they may be the first people to gossip about you they may be the people to distance from you and uh, when you need them sometimes they may not be there for you so you need to be cautious about people you call your friends because one day when you need them they may prove you wrong remember they say betrayal comes from the best friends and that's why it's called betrayal so how is um be ready for anything when it comes to people Number two, never listen to the opinion of other people because some of these opinions that come from people sometimes are not genuine. And um, for me, it's actually your life and whatever you feel is good for you and what you feel will work for you and that which makes you happy, that is what actually should matter. So uh, never listen to what people have to say about you or their opinion 
in your life remember in this life people will always judge you it doesn't matter whether you're good or you're bad people will always have something to say about you and mostly they will say negative things about you and things that will hurt you so it doesn't matter uh, their opinion if for you it makes you happy uh, then keep doing it because you hold nobody an explanation number three you are responsible for your own life you need to keep reminding yourself each and every day that you are responsible for your own life so everything you do should be something that will improve and hand value to yourself and make you a better being avoid things that will bring negative things to your life avoid things that will stagnate your life avoid maybe listening to things that will stagnate you things that will not help you in any way so take charge of your life and even if you have to look for opinion or uh, to look for hand advice then look for that hand advice from people who are genuine from people who can really help you and people who wish you well so not unless you take full responsibility of your life you'll never be an independent individual so if you want to be someone who is independent then you need to be responsible for your life Number four, your life path is different from any other person. So you need now to take charge of your life and figure out what you want with your life. You need to define yourself and understand who you are and where you want to be or where you want to go. You need to be clear about your goals, your purpose in life. Because those are the things that will make you achieve your dreams. So know that your life is all about yourself. And your life is in your palms and you can make it what you want it to be. So never compare yourself to any other person. Because even when you look at those uh, students whom you went to school with, they are in different fields or they are in different careers. Some are teachers, others are soldiers, others are doctors. And for you, you are who you are. And you cannot be like so and so. So never waste your time wishing to be somebody because if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. So it's all about you. So take full responsibility of your life, knowing that you are a special, unique human being. So just understand who you are and what you want in life. Start by defining yourself. That way, you're going to go far. Number five, eating healthy. Your health should be your number one priority so take good care of your health eat things that will build your body things that will make you health and avoid things that actually will interfere with your good health because when you are health you can achieve so much in life because i'm looking at it this way when everything is gone let's take for example your money maybe your friends get out of your life you have no job one thing that will make you come back and bounce back or start all over again it is heal your health and especially your mental health so take good care of your health and your mental health and you can take care of your mental health by avoiding everything that is affecting you, everything that is stressing you, by avoiding those people who you feel are toxic in your life. People maybe who are using you and making you feel bad about yourself. So take care of your health, eat well, involve in physical activity and take good rest. Because when you are health, 
you are rich. And the last one, that is number six, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything in this life. Remember even the Bible cautions has that we should not be afraid because the one who is above is always watching on us. So don't be afraid of what life brings your way. Remember life is all about seasons. There is a season when you will be happy, a season when you will be crying, a season uh, maybe to be broke and a season to be rich and have all the money you need in this world. So it doesn't matter in which season life has taken you, always have the hope and never be afraid of anything. Because when you have the hope, you will actually be able to move on. So never be afraid, never be afraid of losing a friend, never be afraid of people, never be afraid of a breakup because I believe the end of something is the start of something beautiful. So take charge of your life and always carry the hope with you. So your life should be your priority and remember you can make your life what you want it to be. You can change it if only you want to change it. So make that decision today to turn your life into something beautiful. Start that journey that at the end of the day will build you and at least become that person whom you wished that day. Remember that day when you went to class and your teacher asked you, what would you like to be when you grow up? So you've already grown up. Have you become that person you really wanted to? So never stop believing and never stop fighting. Keep on walking and automatically one day you're going to get there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you love it, don't forget to subscribe, like and share with other people so that they can see the video as well. Bye bye. See you in the next video.